here's the deal, perception's reality. So it's interesting because as a company, all these things happen and they seem big at the time. And I think I've just learned over time through experience that nothing, there's not a lot that truly matters. And I can name five things that, that I thought at the time mattered that looking back were more like an ant bite or a bee sting at best. So when I left real estate, I had very profitable business. I was making good, great income. It was very comfortable, right? And I'm leaving a lot on the table. And that was a big milestone pivot for me. Number two is I'm gonna write a check and I'm gonna fund this. I'm not gonna use outside financials for our investor money. Um, I'm gonna use my own, which at the time, looking back, it was crazy, right? But at the time it felt like I'm putting everything in, everything in. Like this can all fall apart tomorrow and the money that I made in real estate is completely gone. Then I think about India. We had uh, 20, uh, 19 or 20 engineers over in India. We transitioned to a US team, which when things are going okay, you're just fearful uh, of, of change. Um, maybe that's the realtor mindset in my, in my head still. But also moving from, we had our own storage for storage and the servers and we moved to AWS. So doing a full data migration of documents and, and data and system challenges seemed like the day was over. I can remember DJ, he literally just had come over um, from uh, Chegg and he said, like this was like, I don't know, within the first six months to a year. And he's like, dude, like what did I walk into? Like, we're doing this migration. And it's like, the sky was falling. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. Right, and like literally we're like, this could be the end because we're not technical. We have engineers, there's a lot of things. What if there's challenges with the data and nothing happened. We got through that. And then there was like a, a big um, lawsuit that was by a billion dollar company that literally I was like, game over. So as a CEO, I think one, you have to stay confident on it, but two, looking back, I think my stomach is so confident on these things now, because I think I, we're very clear, more clear than we've ever been on the direction we're going. But also, um, I look back at all these these moments and they're, they're nothing. They're so small compared to the big picture. Um, I think it's what businesses go through. I think it's what employees, team members, everyone goes through. I think now it's just different because there's so much value and such a clear path and the middle's where I like to be because I know there's an outcome at the end opposed to just chipping and chipping in the beginning. However, I, I look back at saying perception's reality because what do the team members think? What do they feel? We just got out of a meeting. We just did an internal huddle on our strategy with this change that we're going through in the company. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be big. And there's no doubt, it, there will be some fallout, some challenges, some changes, but on the net net winning game, we'll win the long term. And so um, I think as a CEO, you have to go through and go, how do you encourage the team? How do you give them the right talking points? How do you show them the light at the end of the tunnel? It's messy in the middle. But that's, I think, what entrepreneurship is. Vision is number one by far, but also strategy and culture. I think it goes back to our core is obsessed over the customer and we win, not only win, I think we dominate short term and long term based upon building products for our customer. And we have a, a, an opportunity to integrate with other parties, which I think we always wanna provide choice to our clients if it makes sense for our clients. Um, but I think more importantly, it's we're really good at listening and innovating on their behalf. Not just listening because you can't just listen, right? Otherwise we're gonna build a faster horse. We need to build the car, right? In the Henry Ford scenario. And so I think about that, it's how do you listen and how do you build? And I think we have great customers behind us that have been asking us for this for some time. And uh, I think we have the best team to deliver exactly what they need.